Hi guys and welcome to the first episode of the Shakedown with Cat with me, Cat, and my special guest. What, what, what's your boy Veli? You don't know Iliana Mapana. <laughs> How are we today on this wonderful Sunday? A uh, beautiful Sunday, can't lie. Woke up fresh today. Thought, you know what? Coming down to cakes and shakes, gonna get myself a nice milkshake. Catch up with yourself. See where it's going, isn't it? You know what I mean? And um, the fans want to know, where have you travelled from today? Uh, so I've come from Ilford. It's not down the road. We're Gansel right now. So it's Ilford yeah. home? Is yeah, that yeah, home? Yeah, 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 that's my home, that's my home. Born and bred, raised, just down the road, King George Hospital, we got them. Well, so should we go so outside and clap for them? Yeah, 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 we should. We got, I'm going to give them one now, okay, everyone, give them a round of applause. Man. We got NHS workers and that. So what was the plan for the weekend then? The, what, this Apart weekend? from today, what have you done for the weekend? This weekend has been quite productive, I can't lie. It's like a general kind of belly weekend. Get into the studio, you know, write some bars. I've actually been testing myself because normally I go to the studio prepared, like with all the track. And but now I've been going in the studio, semi like the track semi done. But I'm kind of writing the rest of the the song inside of the studio. So I'm experimenting with different sort of writing techniques in mm -hmm. the music right now. So I'm just getting getting like it's kind of challenging myself. Let's say that's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. If there was, I don't know, let's say one artist collaboration you could choose from who would that be oh, that's a tough question so because there's a few you there's know a few, yeah because like with, with my music i don't like to just keep it inbound uk like i was heavily influenced off the us market like even before i picked up the the, the pen and the mic for example i was really taking in how to approach the scene more than just having the talent to rap there was a lot of people that had the swagger, didn't have much talent, but they still got there because of their appearance. And there's a lot of really, really good rappers that didn't really go there because they kept it real with themselves and thinking, why do I have to go and, and, and wear this, this, this to get there? But unfortunately, that's just how the scene works. And they just want to see you have the all round kind of aura to it. To be honest, the, the past was all right. Like, big up Biggie, big up, big up um, Pac and that. They, they, they were their generation. But my generation growing up, like, was more 50, more Eminem, more like, it was like rap breaking into commercial kind of. And it, it's kind of party vibes, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? It's fun, like. And I feel like that's music over time kind of lost that a little bit and kind of got made its own little genres on the way, which I which I love and appreciate. That's the beauty of it. But like that's what inspired me to be here, because I feel like I can bring my kind of source to. So to do you the, think any the, any type of collaboration yeah, is a good collaboration? Yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna so if I, I can't, let's I can't just say that. Britney Spears hit you up. <laughs> oh no, it's not happening. No, 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 no. no you no, never know. No, no, like no. it could happen. It I know it sounds crazy. People say, "Yeah, chase the bag and that," but it just wouldn't fit with my what where I want to get. Fair like, enough. We got Britney in it. Yeah. Cancel Britney. Yeah. I heard she got free up in it. So. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, She's you know free I mean? now. So, yeah, like she deserves all her peas she gets, but that's her field. You get me? That's not my field. Fair enough. Like, I, fair wouldn't, enough. I wouldn't see myself going there. But you're going to say artist is probably 50. Because he's a boss in what, everything he does. And that's who em heavily influenced me with my music growing up. So I'd say 50, that's the answer. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from that, there's more new gen artists that have come along. Wiz Khalifa, for example. I like Wiz. You know what I'm saying? That's the reefer thing as well. Come on, bro. Like, not just that, like... It's, it's from young. He's so are we going down a specific route or are you like, venturing off? Yeah, he's have, he have fun with music. Yeah. Like, just, just Absolutely. Don't, don't copy people. Just be you, innit? Like, yeah, that's what I say. Just so every artist, everyone out there, even if you're a producer, just don't make beats for others. Make them for yourself or yeah. music for yourself, innit? You know what I mean? So. You okay? Yeah, it's a bit thirsty, really. <laughs> I was going to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> got a bit of a jam after Do you that. want, uh, oh yeah, do you want something to drink, maybe to eat? Oh, yeah, We're here be, at Cakes and Shakes. That would be lovely, actually. What's the selection? What are we, what are we working with? What are we working with right now? Cakes, big up Cakes and Shakes as well. Yes, big up Cakes and yeah. Shakes. Thank you. Right, what are we working with? God, I think you should pick something for me. No, 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 ladies first. Do your tip. Do your tip. <laughs> Come on. Oh, see that? All right, cool. Don't oh, say so I didn't ask you. Yeah? It's got minus weight. Where are we going with? I don't even know because I'm more of a simple guy. I don't like all of this too much, too much on top. Like, 
Um, so you're going for a cake or going nah, for a I'm gonna shake? go for the shake. We're gonna go for the shake, I think. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go have to go with a classic, you know? A Ferrero Rocher shake. Two of those? Yeah, you gotta be safe. You done with that? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Landed, landed. Eunice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Right, you ready? So what, what, what are we having? Today we're having a Ferrero Rocher milkshake. You get me? So Cheers. this is my personal favorite. I hope you like it, yeah? Cool, let's go. Wait a second. This thing here, yeah? That was good. I'll tell you what, yeah? On my life, yeah? That was amazing. What just happened? <laughs> I made a mess as well. I'm sorry. Bro, that's, that's that, that's that shit case that's and so shakes yummy. Effect, you know? I big up Eunice. I don't know. What are you putting there, bro? This is some good stuff. Yeah. Mm. This is good still. Amazing. See, this is what, see this place here? I can guarantee you it's got a nice milkshake here. Always. A Ferrero Rocher, can't go wrong. Classic. Make your way down to Cakes and Shakes today. Yeah, I'm just busy. Yes. This is amazing. Yeah, no, no. Love it. Speaking of love, if the love of your life is watching right now, what, what would you tell them? Come Not to put you on the spot, but no, what come, would you tell come. them? Come down and have one of these milkshakes, man. She knows already, man. <laughs> Are you ordering her the same she thing? She knows already. Yeah, yeah, it's the classic. So there is it's a love a of your life? Of course. Always has okay. to be. In every man's journey or something, there's always one there's real a, one. You know what I'm saying? Like, there. Yeah. You learn, you learn, you know. Go through your growing stages, whatever you got to do to so find that one. You know what I'm saying? It comes along, it comes along. If it don't, it don't. But I'll tell a man, don't ever look for that. That it will come. You know, time's right. Man. I'm saying so. Big up you, though. I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> mm. So tell me, like, why, who, who is Veli? Who is Shaq? Who is Escort? Okay. I don't, what does it <laughs> who is it <laughs> what, who are you right so some call me veli some call me vel some call me shack some mm. call me Esther. so it's like different times of my life where people have different nicknames for me so for example if someone knew me from school let's say college times they know me as shack or close family let's say that's my like, you know, family nickname but then we eventually got onto veli like from it being, being Shackavelli, my, my tag at the start. But then I thought to myself, something needs to be a bit more catchy. And yeah. people just started calling me Veli. And Vels as well, that's strung off from the Veli. So I thought, you know what, it's quite catchy. I like it. Like it's something I can go with, I can run with, you know what I mean? So that's how that came. And Estot was like from way back. Like when I first started spitting, first started writing, it was one of them. Cause it's a short for saying Shaq or S dot. Like that was one of them things back in the day. Like you had to put something dot after you get the gist. Dot com. It? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's not. It's not um, flipping URL though. That's the thing. It was like tag names in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, it's it's one of them things. It's, again, it's it's a past thing that I still really appreciate because you know something that can relate to me now and put it all together. And made some call me, which is a track that's out now. Make sure you go run that up on Spotify, Apple, um, iTunes. You can buy that on there as well. So, yeah, that. Um, I heard the visuals are amazing. Yeah, yeah, featured, featuring Cat herself. So make sure you go run that up. Done a great job on that day. Trust <laughs> me, man. It was lit. It was good vibes, man. Um, it had to be done because it's like an introduction. Kind of. You know how this milkshake came? It's like, wow. That's what I'm trying to make that fit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. So what is it like being an Asian grime artist in these current times? Oh. It's a deep question, but... Because, like, recently, there's a few people in the music scene that have kind of told me, you need to start putting up your flags and and that on your Instagram and stuff like that. 
there's um there's an MC that I know that you know helped me give me this advice. Big up Margo. He give me um like an influence. Like he's been in the scene basically. So he give me that outlook where it's like, look, you need to let people know where you're from. And I didn't really look that deep into it beforehand because I thought, you know, we're all united, we're all the same. Like that's how I see it. But if you want to put it as that, it is somewhat a niche kind of market. And then when I put my head head down to it and I thought to myself, you know what, I could possibly use this but in a in a good way, like for my music, you know what I'm saying? So it's a bit of pressure because mm. a lot of artists, I think this is just my God's honest opinion. People might not agree in that, but a lot of Asian artists that have tried to come through, in my opinion, didn't hit the level that a couple of them did, but not as many as it should have been because it's like they kind of let ego get involved. Or, that's just my opinion. I'm not just saying Asian, I'm saying a lot of artists, but I'm saying now, now we're talking on that subject. But I'm saying like opinion. heritage to you is also quite important. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's where we're from. It's our roots because um, not trying to disrespect the UK because I know everything about the UK because I was born and bred here. My mum and dad were born and bred here, so I love this country just as much. Like, I wouldn't be who I am if it weren't for the UK. But with the, with the, it's a big difference from back home. Mm -hmm. And here in it, you know what I mean. So, a lot of the way that we think here is different to the mind frame back there, and they might not agree with a lot that's going on. Oh, look, he's an Asian boy doing this, putting himself out there. Why is he not a doctor? Why is he not a solicitor? Why is he not? Yeah, but at the end of the day, like, like you're you know doing I mean? what makes you happy. You're doing it's a passion, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely is. It's been one from since knee high. Yeah, since yeah, knee yeah, high. Knee high. Like, yeah, yeah, trust me. <laughs> it's um, it's a love in it. It's, it's different. When people see, I think with with this with the Asian scene as well, they thought about too much of the of the money. They didn't they, they didn't the love of it, kind of, went, and then it's like when you start thinking about money, first, which is I get it, we all need it, but you're putting your priorities like, and you're not here for the music, then in it, you're here for the money, in it. I know it sounds crazy, so you're here for the music. but here for the music, money comes with it. You know what I'm trying to say? It's a bonus in my eyes. If you're like trying to be a musician. You're trying to tell the world a message. Like you're trying to leave a legacy. You're trying to do something that's you. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's been a problem with Asians. Like there's not enough man standing up to the table. Like definitely, I hear confidence. You, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So I have a question. Mm. What does stereotypes in an urban scene? I don't understand how it can go like that. Mean. Okay. So that's one of my. That's one of my bars. I like. <laughs> you, you done your research still i like you still oh, no, we just no, want to no. know we just want to know no come on um i respect that I'm, I'm glad that you picked that bar out actually because again i like to see us all as united you know i was born and bred i was raised around not just asians i was raised around um white people black people chinese people filipino people you know what i'm trying to say it's, it's, it's a whole big wider world but i still feel like there's stereotypes in an urban scene that like, we're all one. Why is it still why is it still stereotype? Like, how can we stereotype one another when we're all in one thing together? Like as the urban culture you like to call it. Now, that's where I feel like, bro, well, okay. It may have made me feel a certain type of way, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, we we need to be boosting each other. We need to you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's not just me that feels like this. There's a few artists that feel like this. Mm -hmm. I've only say these things off personal surveys I do up in my head. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's good to hear other people's opinions before you go make your initial statement. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, obviously I'm not saying change your assumption, but you, it's, it's good to hear from different angles. You know what I mean? So, I mean, so thanks for ordering me this Ferrero Wood. Roche? Anytime. Come Milk on. Milkshake. Um, what are you rating it out of five? Oh, mate, this is a five. It's got to be a five, <laughs> isn't it? It's got to be a five. It's got to be a five, isn't it? Like, how can you knock me out and then get back up? Right? <laughs> Act like I didn't know where I was. Right? Thank you, Cakes and Shakes. Yeah, big up. You already know. Thanks for joining Thanks, us bro. today, Veli. It's been a pleasure, no as problem, always. No um, follow us on the Hood Hub Entertainment and don't forget to watch our next episode coming to you shortly. Um, do you want to plug your yeah, your socials? Right. I don't know. So, where Veli? Catch me on my socials at Veli.94. Catch me on Spotify and Apple Music. I've got a new song that's out now called Some Call Me. Make sure you keep running that up. Thank you for the people supporting um, Venny's World EP at the end of the month.
Ah no, stay low. Bah. Feliz dije, pero bobo, no. Ah no. 